Hello and welcome to another video on the Mantis Q40. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the Mantis with a host device. Now a host device is something like an iPhone or a computer, something that does most of the heavy lifting, like the connecting to the internet, the accessing the apps. And the job of the Mantis is sort of to be along for the ride, to kind of help out or steer the device, I guess, for lack of a better, a better word. So there are a couple of ways to hook up the Mantis to an external device like an iPhone, um, especially an iPhone. And in this particular case, we're just going to go with iPhone. But there's a, a couple of ways to do it. And there's a right way that'll get it so that voiceover controls the phone and works well with the phone. And there's also a way that is less, um, that doesn't work exactly the same way where the keyboard will just work as a straight up keyboard, not a um, control for voiceover. So we're going to look at how to how to hook that up. So right now I'm in my uh, Mantis. I'm in the editor. I'm actually in the main menu. So I'm going to go ahead and use a down arrow or the letter T to find terminal. And I'm going to press enter. There are a couple of options here uh, that we can go through. There's um, connect, uh, connect a device. There's add a device. There's uh, and there's back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start from the beginning here and we're just going to go with add Bluetooth device and I'm going to press a cursor routing key to enter that menu area. Um, now it says on here it says activate um, activate your device. So basically what it's saying is go into your host device and try to find the display because this right now the mantis is in pairing mode. So right now I'm going to and I'm going to bring it over here. I'm in my settings and I'm just going to show how this goes. Sign into your airplane, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular. So notice I'm I'm skipping right past Bluetooth here. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you connect it this way, it doesn't control the voiceover doesn't work with the device the same way. Cellular, personal, VPN, notification, sounds and focus, screen top, general, control, display, home screen, accessibility. There we go. So um, I'm in accessibility. This phone, by the way, is running um, iOS 15. So if you have a earlier version of the iOS, it, the accessibility might be in the um, in the general in the general area, but it has its own area in like I think iOS 13 or later. Accessibility features help you customize your iPhone for your individual needs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe right until I hear voiceover. Vision. Okay, as you can hear, it's on. So I'm going to double tap. And I'm going to, okay, and I'm going to just go, um, to, I'm going to swipe right until I hear Braille. Okay, there's Braille. So before we, uh, I'm going to double tap on it. There are a lot of Braille settings and uh, that, that you set up to make the Braille uh, device work with your phone uh, to the best of the abilities. But I'm just gonna have a skip down to the bottom where we see the Braille displays and connect it. Choose a Braille display. Okay, this is where we need to look for that chameleon, or I'm sorry, the mantis. I knew, I knew it was a bug. Um, In progress, F mantis Q40. Oh, six, here five, we go. Zero, two, one, zero, one, zero, zero, two, six, nine. Okay, so this device is not connected. As you'll notice, it says APH Mantis, and then it gives it, it this number is the serial number. So I'm going to double tap here. F Mantis Q40, six, five, zero, two, one, zero, one, zero, zero, two, six, nine. Selected. Okay. You F probably Mantis heard Q40, it. F Mantis Q40, six, five, zero, two, one, zero, one, zero, zero, two, six, nine. Connected. Button. So it says it's connected. And if you can see the this, see the the video that it's um, indicated it's connected by a blue um, outline like the the text is blue, so I'm going to move this phone aside. I don't need it right now. So now on the Braille display it says USB connections. Well, that's not what we want. So I'm going to look for the name of this phone, which because it's a phone that's assigned by my work, it doesn't really have a name to it per se. Um, so I need to look for that. Oh, here we go. iPhone, and it's it's a number. I don't have, like I said, control over that. So I'm just going to press a cursor routing key to connect it. 
and my display says Braille display. More info. But if I make a move, like I moved my um, arrow key. Activate. More info. Activate. More info. So um, that that puts that Braille on the display once I press a button. Vertical select in auto advanced okay. duration. So Bypass. what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now the main thing you need to know to control the phone. Um, and and use this as a keyboard that would that would control voiceover. So on your Mantis, there's this the control key is the lower left hand key. On a Apple keyboard, you hold down control and option, and those are called the voiceover keys. But you don't have to like on the Mantis, there isn't an option. And instead of the option, it's the Windows key. So if you are on your lower left part of your Mantis, is, is your control key. If you go to the right one key, that's your function key. We can ignore that. That's not one we want. And then if you go right again is the Windows key. So if you hold down Control and Windows and then hold uh, press the letter H, that activates the home button. If you hold down Control and Windows and press H twice, app switcher. twice Settings. quickly, Active. that is the... That is your app switcher. So now if I want to, uh, I can, um, the equivalent of swiping down is your down arrow. Close settings. Activate. Default. So this is how I would swipe down and choose the action I want to perform. I want to close it. Close settings. So I pressed my down arrow until I heard close settings. And then I'm going to press a cursor routing key. Closing settings. Notes. Current action. And that close closes notes. it. Active. So the current action is close notes. I don't want to close my notes, actually. I want to activate it. So I'm going to press my down arrow activate. again. Default. It says activate, and I'm going to press a cursor routing key. Notes. Notes. So I'm, I'm activating the notes. So now what I want to do is I want to find that, um, that edit field. Done. Button. February 4, 2000 toolbar. Del share note. Button. New note. Oops, I'm at the bottom. So I want to actually um, swipe back to the top. And there, there's commands to do this, but I'm just going to use my left arrow. Share, delete, venue, hello, good morning. Multi-line text field. Okay. That tells me that's the text field that I was in earlier. So now I'm activating the text field. There we go. So now it says, hello, good morning on my display. I can route my cursor to the end of that text if it wasn't already there. And I can press a space. Okay, that says my name is Amy. So now I've added that text. If I want to get out of this edit field without getting out of the note, I'm going to hold down my uh, Windows key and, and Control key and press my right arrow. So, but I want to hear, Double did you hear that, that sound that happened uh, when I exited that text field, that editing area? So that's kind of important to know, to keep in mind when you hear it exit, um, that that's a really cool thing. I don't believe that happens in anything other than the native iOS apps. It, I don't think that happens in Google or anything like that, or the Office 365 apps like Word. But uh, it's it's a good you know starting point to let you know when you've gotten in and out of that text field. So that's a good getting started guide. There are a lot of good um, informational resources on the Apple support page, and they talk about how to use an external keyboard with um, with an iPhone and how you would make that external keyboard control that phone without having to touch the phone again, like we were doing today. So there are a lot more commands that you can use and that people do use, and those are available. I'll try to put that in the, the link to that um, in the description so that you see it um, and can access it. But other than that, I think that um, gets us to the end of our video. So thank you very much. If you like what you saw, hit subscribe, like the video, please comment and tell us what you liked about what we're doing or maybe some things that maybe you wish we did or could do better. So thanks a lot and have a great day.